Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is a iOS 9 lock screen bypass vulnerability. Boy, it sure has been a bad security week for Apple. First, the Xcode ghost vulnerability that allowed thousands of malicious applications on their official app store. And now, a random Spanish-speaking YouTuber has found a new way to partially bypass iOS 9's lock screen. Here's how it works. Basically, if you lock your phone, the attacker can actually enter a false password four times. Now, after the fifth missed password, your phone usually will be locked for a minute. But for the fifth attempt, he actually enters all of the numbers except for the last one. While he's entering the last number, he holds down the home button, which of course launches Siri. Now, when Siri launches, your phone should still be locked. However, if the attacker asks what time it is, he can get into the clock app. And by searching for a country and then double-clicking on that random text, he can actually share it with the Messenger app. And this is where the vulnerability happens. The Messenger app should not open because you are in a locked state. However, it does. And this, of course, gives the attacker the entire access to your entire contact list. Simply by searching for all the letters, he can see and access all your contacts. On top of that, he can add a new contact. And when he does, it gives him the opportunity to add a photo to that contact. And when he adds the photo, he then gets access to your photo library, whether it's the ones on your phone or your iCloud photo library if you're connected online as well. So long story short, your phone should still be locked in this state even though it's giving some access to Siri, but it actually gives the attacker access to all your contacts and all your photos. Now in the scope of things, this isn't the biggest vulnerability in the world. It does require the attacker physically access your phone, and it's only a partial lock screen bypass. He can see your contacts and photos, but he can't actually open your phone and access any of the apps. Now there is a quick fix for this. If you go into your settings, specifically the Touch ID and Passcode settings, you can disable Siri at the lock screen. Of course, that will also disable Siri until you unlock your phone. I do suspect Apple will fix this in the latest iOS update as well. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.